goals of the fishbowl are rigorous, respectful discussions that deepen understanding. While students are full of opinions and I believes, the goal is to have constructive questioning, deepening their understanding of the topic. Prior to discussion, materials are collected by the teacher. They can be primary source documents, even a collection of videos, whatever content it is that you are teaching. On the day of the fishbowl discussion, every student receives a seating chart and a rubric that includes a reflection component. The rounds are based on the student's comfort level and ability to publicly speak. So my chattier kids are always in the first round and end up being the fullest round. My rounds usually have eight students as a maximum and then the smaller rounds are the more quiet, shy children and tend to be smaller and less time. The rounds are 13 minutes each and as the groups get smaller, the time becomes less. After round one is finished, the students rotate back to the end of the row and the next round moves forward. And they move such to complete all four rounds. The seating chart at the end is completed with comments based on other students' questions or responses from rounds that the, they were not a part of. So I expect engagement while the other rounds are speaking. Once a student's round is over, they are not sitting at their desk doing nothing. They are actively writing on their seating chart responses and questions to actively be part of the conversation even though they're not in the speaking round. The rubric is also completed. There are two parts to it. The students tell me what grade they think they should get and why. And then there's also a reflection component about some of the most thought-provoking questions that they heard of the entire discussion. Also who they thought the best speaker was for their round. And those are two pieces of paper that are turning at the end.